Hello, welcome to Second Life Road Test. Today, my friends and I will be showing you some of the hottest cars on Second Life. Please sit back and relax and enjoy the show. Comparing the British-made Rolls-Royce Phantom with the Russian-made ZIL is a very difficult choice, especially since both cars are very expensive and very rare to get. The Rolls-Royce Phantom is a flagship of the British Rolls-Royce brand. This model was released to the public in 2003 after BMW bought Rolls-Royce. The car is powered by a V12 400 to 500 horsepower engine produced by BMW. The same V12 also used in the 760 series. The interior of the Rolls-Royce Phantom is very luxurious. The materials used include high quality wood grain dashboards and cream colored leather seats. The car's doors have a unique setup, especially with the fact that the two rear doors are of the suicide door fashion, similar to cars of the 1930s through 40s. It is now time to test a Rolls-Royce Phantom on a racetrack to feel how it handles. So far the car handles very smoothly. Let me speed up the car a bit more. It does get kind of tight around the turns. I guess it takes some getting used to for that part. Down gearing a bit up gearing now. And hit the brakes. The ZIL41041 is a presidential type luxury car. It has been exported to countries around the world, especially in Asia and Africa. It was first produced in Russia in the 1960s and through the early 1990s and recently restarted production until 2008. As a presidential type luxury car, this car comes with the features of police type strobe lights, sirens, and flag mountings. For example, this one is a Chinese diplomatic type model. The car is powered by a Russian-built V8 315 horsepower engine. Original models were carbureted, but more recent models have become fuel injected. The interior of the car is made from high-grade material. However, it is not as fancy as a Rolls-Royce. As you can see, the wood grain trim here is more basic and not as fancy. However, the leather seats are more fancy in the fact that it is a darker color leather and smoother to the touch. Also the rear seat is made out of a suede type trim. Very comfortable and uh, non-stick especially when compared to the leather in the Rolls Royce. Also some would also say that the interior looks like a car from the 1970s. In fact this car has been produced since the 1980s and is using the same interior type trim. Due to this car's appearance, some have dubbed this car the Russian built Mercedes or the Russian built Lincoln. One can see the resemblance to a bit of Mercedes and Lincoln on the front end and also with the body style. The rear end is reminiscent of high-end Japanese cars such as Lexus or Infiniti. It is now time to test the ZIL41041 on the track. Here we go. So 
So far this car handles very smoothly. And it takes corners a lot better than a Rolls Royce. The Rolls Royce would easily spin out or would have a hard time steering around sharp corners. I'm starting to like this car a bit more. Even though the interior may be more basic, I'm not into very fancy stuff. But maybe for some people they prefer a more fancier car. The sound of this V8 is lovely. And there we go. So today I'm here with my friend Jacob and we're going to go off-roading. So Jacob, please introduce yourself. How's it going? I'm uh, Jacob Breen. Um, work with Yev or work with Kimbo for most of Second life right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> gonna go play around in some 4x4 today. So today I'm in my Russian built UAZ Jeep and Jacob is in his um, monster truck rise, or I should say monster truck version of a Dodge Ram pickup. So today it's, we're yeah, gonna it's... go ahead and hit the trails. All right, so we're now ready to hit the trail, and here we go. I think that's where the entrance of the trail's at. So I'm gonna start out slowly. All right, so we're gonna hit the trail now, and it's gonna be a lot of fun, and Jacob's right behind me, so this is gonna be a very fun adventure. This is a newer hobby that I've just recently started picking up on Second Life and uh, Jacob's been doing this hobby for about like maybe five years plus now on Second Life if I'm correct. So as you can see we're going over a lot of obstacles such as rocks or logs and uh, sand traps and whatnot. Pretty much just like off-roading in real life. Um, what I really particularly like is the fact that even though this car is an SUV, it has a 2 liter 4 cylinder engine only generating 88 horsepower and yet it still gets us across all terrains of Second Life. If you think about it, the physics of Second Life are just like those in real life. So pretty much whatever you encounter here in Second Life, your car will also encounter in real life too such as climbing very steep terrains and uh, bouncing up on the rocks, although may not be recommended for long-term duration in real life. So I'm coming up to some rocks that we have to climb up. And uh, Hit those gonna, low gears. Yep, I'm hitting the lower gears and uh, whoa. This two liter engine really uh, really whoops those rocks into shape. <laughs> oh yeah. I always have like this fear of like all of a sudden the car like randomly just tipping over. <laughs> you, know, it, it, you know, especially if uh, I think pretty much everybody's seen that video on TV from that muddy hill down near Carmel called Truck Hill where these uh, three teenagers were in like an older Chevy Tahoe or some Chevy model from the 80s or late 70s where they went up the hill and for some reason the engine conked out and then the car flipped over backwards and fell upside down. I think most of us are familiar with that video. I think pretty much anybody who watches TV should be familiar by that, of that video by now because it's a very common uh, sight. And here we are at the end of this trail. So we're going to pull into this place here and uh, I'm going to see if he's still behind me. Yes, Jacob is still behind me. And uh, that's the end of our off-roading uh, session. So at least some of you or a lot of you have learned about off-roading at this point.
Mercedes-Benz has once again led to innovation in the bus world. The all-new Mercedes-Benz Citaro City Bus has been introduced and will be readily available in a hybrid version. The Mercedes-Benz Citaro still features many standard features such as a hydraulic kneeling system for disabled passengers to use when boarding the bus. Mercedes-Benz was one of the world's first bus makers to pioneer the use of disabled friendly technologies incorporated into their vehicles. We hope that you have enjoyed the show and will join us next time for another episode of Second Life Road Test.